Hey everybody, it's story time! Coming at you with one of my favorite stories. So, as the story goes, uh, at this point in my life, I was going to college, and uh, I got an acceptance letter to get into the business school within my college, because I'm studying business. And uh, I go to orientation, but uh, I show up about maybe four or five hours early. The reason why is because I had to go to financial aid. Now, as some of you know, financial aid is like the DMV of the public education or, or private education or collegiate uh, area uh, department, so to speak. And uh, I get there early. I'm online. Uh, there's about five people online. And uh, I figure out I need to write something on the paper that was sent to me. So I pass the line. And I get up to the secretary, and I go up to her, and I say, excuse me, miss, may I borrow a pen? And she looks at me, and she goes, well, if I'm going to give you a pen, you got to make sure you bring it back, because I'm not going to be here with a pen, and this is a pen shortage, and I just can't take it. And she flings the pen in my general direction. Now, there's two ways I could have gone about it. There's probably more, but there's two ways I could have gone about it. I could have said, A, the fuck is your problem? Or B, I said, I could have said, Thank you, I'll make sure I bring it back safe and sound. I picked the latter. Never get on the nerves of the gatekeeper. And the gatekeeper is the secretaries or the people who are involved in getting you to the place that you want to go within an office. Anyway, I fill out my paperwork, I get seen, and I, it turns out I need to go to the computer lab to print out something for um, additional coverage of whatever I was going for. So I go to the computer lab, and I'm trying to use the computer, but... To no avail, I can't print out anything. Why? I have no idea. So I asked the attendant, I said to the attendant, excuse me, sir, uh, why can't I print anything out? And he says to me, well, are you enrolled in the summer? And I said, no, I hate summer classes. And he said, so do I. So I said, uh, you know, What's the problem? He said, well, you need to be enrolled to have printing credits. So uh, I can walk you over to the machine that gives you printing credits. I said, yeah, that'd be great. So we walk over to the printing uh, credit machine, and um, I'm about to put $20 in. And he goes, whoa, don't do that. I said, why? He said, because if you put $20 in, you're going to get $20 of non-refundable printing credits. I said, I don't need that. I said, do you have change? He said, no. And uh, I said, well, do you know anybody else who has change? He says, well, let's walk around and see if we can find somebody. I said, great. So we walk around. Do you have change of a 20? No. Do you have change of a 20? No. Do you have a change of a 20? No. I'm like, uh, you know what? This is for the birds. I'll go downstairs. I'll buy a lemonade. It's a hot day. I'll get changed that way. I got nothing to do for the next couple hours. I'll be fine. He says, okay, I'll see you soon. So I go downstairs. I'm buying a lemonade, and I smoke a cigarette. Now, smoking is not good, but it helps in tense situations. So at this point, I'm smoking my cigarette, and I said, you know what? I'm going to orientation for this business school. Maybe I should buy some gum. So I go into the store. The, the bookstore, and I'm online with some gum, and I see next to the register, there's a pack of 10 pens for $1.98. I was like, a bought. So, I get back to the, the printing laboratory with change, and uh, I put my money in. I put about maybe $3. So, I, uh, I, I print out what I need to print, and I have extra credits. So, I go back to the same guy, and I say, hey, guy, I got printing credits for you for the low. Actually, for free. So you can take this, and you can give it to anybody who may be in the same circumstance as me, and maybe you'll get a number out of it. Who knows? So what he says is, I'm not sure. I, my hearing was off at that point. But he says either one of two things. I'm going to use this to get bitches, or I'm going to use this to get digits. Now, I did warn a response, so I chucked up the deuces, and I left. I get back to the financial aid office, I get right in front of everybody, uh, all the line, and I get up to the secretary, now she's over here, I'm right here, I take the pens out, and I flop them onto the table. She looks at the pens, she looks at me, she looks back at the pens, she looks at me, and she goes, I am so sorry that I treated you the way I did. 
you know, it's just been a long day, and nobody brings back pens. Is a pen shortage? Is, is there anything I can do for you? And I was like, yeah, there's one thing you can do for me. And she's like, what's that? And I said, I'm going to need a pen. So she flicks three at me. I put two in my pocket. I put one in my ear, chucked up the deuces, have a nice day, and I went to orientation. Turns out, I got there just in time. I filled out my name. I filled out a raffle ticket. I took off my hat, and I sat down. Orientation begins. They call out raffles. Raffle tickets. I'm the third person called for a raffle. So I stand up. I go over to the person who's calling out the numbers. I say, hey, you called my number. And she says, well, you have two choices. At this point, she's on a microphone. She's interviewing me on what I want in front of the dean of the business school, the president of whatever, the who uh, said who of what. And I said, well, what's the choices? And she says, well, we have a book or we have an umbrella. In no way, shape, or form am I going to pick an umbrella over a book in a business school orientation. Just bad juju. So I was curious. I said, what's the name of the book? The name of the book was Good Things Happen to Good People. Can't make that up. Glorious day. I gave the guy printing credits. He may get a number or bitches. You know, whichever comes first. Uh, I made the lady in the financial aid office happy and have a surplus of pens, and I had a great story to tell. So uh, that's for me saying, do good things, and good things happen to you. Good things truly do happen to good people most of the time. Anyway, that ends story time. Peace.